I'm Jonathan Samet. Uh, I'm at the University of Southern California. We've been working with Green Cross for about three years now, uh, developing projects on the consequences of the Chernobyl disaster that relate to the health and well-being of people, to mental health and their general psychological well-being. Uh, we've been doing this by reviewing the scientific literature and uh, also we collaborated to carry out focus groups, uh, talking to people and trying to understand just what their concerns are now, 25, 26 years uh, after the disaster. I think what we hear is that there are many threats to the people. Certainly uh, radiation remains as one of them, but they're concerned about their children, uh, they're concerned about the economics of a region that's been uh, hit so hard by the uh, disaster. So yes, radiation remains uh, high on the list, but there are other concerns as well. The radiation causes cancer. It also contributes, we're learning, to other diseases like cardiovascular disease. But what our work is doing is saying, well, there's lots of emphasis given to cancer. Let's try and understand what we're learning about these other consequences. And probably really importantly, and for the work of Green Cross, what might be done to help uh, reduce those consequences for the people affected. Chernobyl, like other disasters, can have a devastating impact on the lives of people, and we know that that can you know, set, a, set a course where people may be anxious, they may be depressed, they may not function as well as they want to. There's also, of course, the problem of post-traumatic stress disorder. People are resilient, but they uh, can't necessarily rebound from uh, everything, and it's these concerns that we are uh, taking a look at. I think it's very hard for people to conceive of these catastrophic disasters like Chernobyl or Fukushima. There's no doubt that people fear such events, and I think everyone thinks that such, a, such an event can never happen to them, but clearly, unfortunately, many people have now been affected by these disasters. The scientific literature shows that there is more depression, there is more anxiety, there is concern about the children uh, related to the disaster, and then even you know, decades out, these concerns are still there.